what's going on? It's been a very long time. I look different. The room looks different. The setup is different. You should see what contraption I have built up just to have this camera on the eye level. But we're here. Eventually, I will go more in depth about why I was gone for so long, but it's all for good reason. The main topic that I wanted to talk about today is black women winning major awards in film and TV. And the thing that sparked my um, interest to make this video yesterday, I've been wanting to make a video for a long time anyway, but yesterday were the Emmys, or at least all like the major Emmys, and so much happened. Before we get there, let's start with the person who should have won this last year. Angela Bassett received an Oscar. She finally got the Oscar. Once she got an honorary Oscar, um, after her snub last year from not getting it for her performance in Wakanda Forever. Now, that was very controversial because if you saw both movies everywhere all at once and Wakanda Forever, you'd understand that Angela Bassett had the way better performance in that movie. Um, arguably, one of the best performances in the MCU to date. And the fact that she was even nominated for a Marvel movie is pretty major. I not given everything. And then if you saw everywhere, everything everywhere all at once, you know that uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, while she is a great actress and probably did also deserve an Oscar way before um, that movie, and everything everywhere all at once, she really didn't do anything. Like she wasn't her performance. When I think about that movie, I don't think about Jamie Lee Curtis. If anything, supporting actors wise. I think about Stephanie, the daughter that played the daughter in the movie. If anyone should have won a supporting actor role for that movie, it should have been Stephanie. The Academy finally decided to give Angela Bassett an honorary Oscar, basically saying, yeah, we messed up, here you go. The honorary thing really throws it off, but I mean, hey, an Oscar's an Oscar. She got what she deserved. Moving on, Quinta Brunson from Abbott Elementary last night won her Emmy for Best Lead Actress in a comedy series. She's the second black woman to win lead actress in a comedy series, which is crazy. Not only because she also writes this series and um, produces this series, knowing where Quinta came from in the content world, um, from the, the He Got Money meme and the BuzzFeed videos that she did to the Black Lady Sketch Show, to now being the second black woman of all time to win this award, which is still crazy to say given that we're in the year 2024. It's a very, very major feat. And you can tell by her speech, she didn't expect to win that. And it was very, it was so, so emotional. Also with the quality of Abbott being great. So not only that was she winning, um, Cheryl Lee Ralph also won an award, I think maybe last year or the year before for Abbott. Tyler James Williams also won an award for Abbott. Like it all culminating to this moment for Quinta. It's well deserved and it shows how much hard work that she puts in and that she truly does care about this show. Big ups to Quinta. The third major person that I wanted to talk about was Io Edabiri. Ed Ed I don't know how to say her name. Or the last name, I probably should have figured that before. I'm gonna just call her Io. Io, not only did she win her Emmy last night, she also won a Critics' Choice Award and a Golden Globe all within one week. Now, I've been paying attention to Io for really since I started watching The Bear, which wasn't that long ago. I really started watching The Bear this past summer and seeing that she just started booking role after role after role after role doing them all well and even still having a like multiple projects that people rate very highly being april o'neill and the ninja turtles i didn't see this movie but bottoms was held very high as some of the best movies one of the best movies that came out last year she's really starting to take over and it's been a while since we've seen somebody kind of move like this and again to be doing it at such a, a high level if you watch the bear the show is nowhere near as good if you take Io out of the show. As much as I love Jeremy Allen White and just the bear itself, she is, her performance, she is very, very, and 
integral to the heart and soul of that show. In general, I'm saying everything that Io has touched so far has turned to gold and she's definitely reaping the benefits from it. And I genuinely can't wait to see uh, what else she does after this. Nisi Nash, she also won an award last night for best supporting actress in a leading limited drama series, I think. For the Dahmer series, I didn't watch that. Don't plan on watching it. But she, from what I, from what I've, the stuff I've seen from her before, this is longer overdue. She is for sure a great actress, and I'm very glad that she was able to finally be recognized for that. Storm Reed, Storm Reed won for her performance in The Last of Us last year, and now that was something that I definitely didn't expect because I kind of forgot she was even in that show. But she, she also that was a really solid performance as well. And then you could tell when she got up there, she for sure wasn't expecting the win. But then again, it's like, I know you're gonna be great. You came up under Zendaya working on Euphoria, who was also a multi-award winner. There's no doubt you are gonna be a great actress as well. I saw her in um, the movie with Leo, Nia Long not too long ago. Kills it, like she, well, well-deserved award for sure. Now, some other discourse that I saw people talk about was Dominique Fishback getting snubbed for best leading actress in, lim in a limited drama series for Swarm. Now, I watch Swarm, right? I don't think that many people watch Swarm. And I say that because when you compare the two shows, Swarm and Beef, um, Ali Wong is the one who won for best lead actress in a limited series. Hands down, Beef is the better show overall. And I feel like that is what carried it to win the awards that it did. Um, well, at least I think Steven Yeun for sure deserved his award, but I think that's overall probably why Ali Wong won over Dominique. Not to say that Ali Wong's performance wasn't great, it was. Dominique for sure, I think her performance flew under the radar. I, and I generally, again, just think it's because that many people didn't watch Swarm. Yeah, that, I think that's going to do it for my first video back. Yeah, man, if you're still subscribed <laughs> after uh, this long of me not recording or posting, I appreciate it. Thank you all for sticking to me. The next video after this will be me talking about everything, why I've been gone for so long. And yeah, y'all have a good one.